What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is day two of the vlogs and it's a beautiful morning here in Texas. It is not freezing cold. For the first time in a while, I've been able to wake up and come outside because it's just super nice and I wanna take advantage of it. It's about 9.30 right now and I have a few things to do today. I have to go to the dentist and I'm gonna to go to the gym later this afternoon, but I thought, why not shoot a cool vlog about one of the things that I love the most, which is my truck. So today we're gonna to be taking a deep dive and a detailed walkthrough of my truck. I have a Ram 1500 Bighorn and it's the Black Widow Edition. It is an aftermarket company that will make cool modifications to any truck. I've seen them on Ford, I've seen them on Ram. So you guys have seen it in my vlog before. But until then, we're up on the balcony at the house right now. I've got my, uh, my ghost greens that I try to get down in the morning. It's part of my morning routine. I usually start my morning with a large cold glass of water or bottled water. I fill up my shaker cup and put my greens in it because that's one of the easiest way to get your greens. I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit this morning, enjoy my greens, enjoy the sun, enjoy the outside, and then we're gonna get started with the day. This is a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. I bought this truck aftermarket. So the paint was done, the lift kit was done, and the interior decals were done. Like the stitching here on the seats, it's on both the driver and the passenger side. I have decals on the exterior of the car on the sides and the back. And then this really cool feature where if I'm parked in a dark place or it's nighttime and I open up the door, I actually have a Black Widow logo like shines from the bottom of the truck. Another cool thing too, you can see there is a Black Widow logo on the inside there where the speedometer is. And Black Widow is actually really popular. I didn't realize how many models of trucks, like literally every model from Chevy, Ford, GMC, to Nissan and Ram, they do aftermarket stuff for it. What makes this truck so unique is the color. The color of this truck is a one-off color that they haven't done on any other Ram Black Widows. The rims are also custom as well. They have the Black Widow logo in the center of them. Before I got this truck, I had a few different cars before and I drive a lot. So I'm constantly on the road. I'm constantly going places. And the two things that I look for are comfort and convenience. Being a golfer, being someone who travels a lot, I need a lot of space in a car. And unfortunately, I just didn't have enough space in those cars before. And the way that they ride, I found that it was just super bumpy it was super uncomfortable after a while in this truck i could go on a drive four plus hours long and not have any issues with being uncomfortable or my back hurting or anything these there are heated seats in the front no heated seats in the back unfortunately but the suspension on this truck is amazing it literally feels like i'm riding in a luxury car just because of how smooth it is i could go over bumps speed bumps anything and it feels like nothing. When I noticed that in this truck, like I immediately fell in love with it when I was test driving it. I'm about to run into my dentist appointment right now, but when I come out, I'm going to do a complete interior tour of the truck so you guys can see everything from the dash to the display. But first, I need to go get my teeth cleaned. We need to have that pretty smile. Keep these things shining like pearly white. So I'll catch up with you guys here in a few. All right, you guys, we are done with the dentist. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. I am going to take you guys on a little trip. We're going to go clean my car real fast, and then I'm gonna show you the interior of the very special Black Widow Bighorn Ram 1500. And then we'll do a little tour of the inside. I've never tried this flavor before. Sour pink lemonade. Yeah, it's one of my new favorites. Holy cow, this literally tastes exactly like pink lemonade. It's just 
carbonated. For those of you that have tried Ghost Energy drinks before, when they put sour on the front, it usually tastes pretty sour, like sour green apple, sour watermelon, but this is literally perfect. It's like someone took pink lemonade, carbonated it, put it in a can with caffeine, and made it my new favorite. I literally went to the store the other day and bought, I think, 15 different Ghost Energy drinks because I I love Ghost. They're one of my favorites and their energy drinks are number one on my list. But you guys, we just finished up the car wash. I came to a little parking area where I can fill my truck for you so you can see it. We're gonna go through everything. First, we're gonna do a walkthrough on the outside. I'm gonna show you guys the decals, the rims, and the color of the truck. Then we'll move it to the inside where I'll show you the interior of the bells and whistles that come with this beautiful thing. Let's get into it. Okay, let's talk about the truck. But first, mm, like music to my ears, literally like music to my ears. Every time I start my truck, I absolutely love the sound of it. I believe Black Widow did an aftermarket exhaust and it is a little bit louder when you start it compared to a standard 1500. As you can see, it is a 5.7 liter V8. This bad boy has 450 horsepower. This thing can pick up real fast. Obviously for a pickup truck, the zero to 60 is not gonna be super fast, but it is a lighter truck. Majority times, Rams are pretty heavy, but this one is actually really light. Even with the body kit on it, we have the exterior body kit wheel over the wheel wells with the bolts. On the back, you can see that the exhausts are a bit bigger than stock. Black Widow decal here. All right, so we've got display right here, which obviously shows my speed, and if I function through it, there are a bunch of different options from settings to seeing my oil, the car levels, everything like that. As you can see, this truck is equipped with CarPlay. Unfortunately, though, it is only half the screen, not the full screen. I believe the 2022 and newer models come with a full screen CarPlay option, which kind of looks like an iPad, which I'm super jealous about, but I do have the option to have two different screens at one time. I can choose to have a full screen here for my media. I can see the controls if I want to heat my seats, the climate and everything, which is really cool. It takes up the full screen, all the different functions that come with the Uconnect, a full screen navigation that comes with the truck, which I don't mind. However, I'm just so used to using Apple Maps in CarPlay that I hardly ever use this function unless obviously my phone is low on battery and I don't have a charger. Obviously you can see it can swipe through all of the different options that this allows me and if I want to tap on something it does end up going full screen which is really cool here. I can browse through my different music options. I have Apple Music so it shows everything there for Apple Music. It is dual climate as well as dual heated seat so I have the option to turn a passenger heat seat on, my heated seat, I have the opportunity to heat my steering wheel if it's cold. So that's it for the display side of things. And then it comes with this really nice spacious center console area where I've actually found it to be very useful like while traveling because I can put a lot of different things down here. It also comes with a storage spot right here where I usually throw my keys. Really nice to have all of this space to be able to store things that I need. And if you can see down there, I do have four charging ports, which is clutch because I'm able to charge multiple things at one time. I have two USB-Cs and two regular USBs as well. All the features down here show the tow haul mode. I can turn my parking front and rear sensors off just in case I don't want to hear that loud annoying beep that we get. I get to see the backup cam right here, which is actually pretty clear for being a big truck. It has a crystal clear backup camera and it does take up a lot of this screen, which I like. I really like how I'm able to have a car plugged in through CarPlay, but also allow someone else to connect to the car too through Bluetooth in case they wanted to play music or somebody wanted to be on aux, but I needed to charge my phone. Or One thing that I've heard a lot of Ram owners talk about is how slow the Uconnect can be sometimes. I personally haven't had any experiences with my Uconnect lagging or freezing or having trouble turning on or being slow to turn on. I usually just hop in my car, my phone connects automatically, 
and I'm good to go. Did want to show you guys the back of the truck because it is super spacious back here. Like whoever sits back here, unless you're Shaquille O'Neal, you have all the leg room in the world. These are bench seats, so they can fold up. When I moved to Texas, I think I had these bench seats put up and I had a ton of boxes laid out and stacked up in the back seat of the car. There is so much room in here. This front seat goes up as well. So you could have even more room when that is moved forward. There are more charging ports back here. Also a power outlet that I can plug something into if needed. You can see it's super spacious, super nice, super comfortable. And I'm so glad that I went with this option. I've actually never ridden in the back of my truck before but maybe i'll have somebody drive it one time just so i can see how it feels because honestly with this much space a road trip would be so much fun back here okay the last thing that i want to touch up on about my truck if you can't tell i love it very much is the truck bed so i have a five and a half foot truck bed which has a tri-fold cover on the top of it and those fold down so that way the back can lock up and be covered whenever i'm not using my truck i also have this sort of step thing that comes out so it helps you know it's easier for me to get onto the back of the truck bed shout out to all the short kings out there that need a little bit of extra height the truck bed is also aligned with this stuff and i can't i don't know the name of it because i didn't ask or have no idea i don't want the truck bed to get scratched up whenever i'm transporting my golf clubs or transporting luggage or anything so i keep a moving blanket and an extra blanket over here on the side just so that way the truck bed doesn't get super messed up and another thing too at nighttime, i have a light back here right in this corner that lights up. I have one here and then one in the front as well that lights up at nighttime and just so I could see in the back of my truck. Yeah guys, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new type of vlog that I did. For all of you guys that are into trucks, whether you're into Ram, Ford, Chevy, comment down below tell me why you like your truck more than others this will be my third year having the truck and i have just over 25,000 miles on it and i want to take care of this thing because i want to have this thing forever I want this thing to last me till i live till 105 so that's going to be it for this video though i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any more questions on my truck let me know and i can update you in a future video if you'd like but that's going to do it if you guys enjoyed please make sure you smash the thumbs up button you comment down below you subscribe if you're new to this channel and stay tuned for more daily vlogs until next time we'll see you later peace